Well, December has officially started and which means the silly season has started and they don't call it the silly season for nothing. Now, I don't know about you, but in just in the last couple of weeks, my life has been hectically busy and I don't even have like a household to run or a family, like a family of my own at the time of filming. And so I can't even, or I can only imagine what it's like for some of you at home that have two, pe two parts of Christmas parties to go to, more than one kid at school finishing up the year, like just the endless temptations and social events and lack of time and stress thrown in there. It's stressing me just talking about it actually. It's like the perfect storm. Well, the perfect shitstorm, really, isn't it? And it's hard to stay on track at this time. I get it. I fully get it. I'm human. I understand what it's like at this time of year. So I wanted to share with you just three things that have been in my mind the last couple of weeks and that have helped me kind of get through some of these times. The first one is spending a little bit of extra time in the kitchen while you're in it. I know this sounds a bit like a contradiction because you don't have the time, but while you're here, do a little bit of something that's gonna help your future busy self. So for example, it might be just modifying a recipe a touch so that you have an extra serve or two to put in the freezer for when you are time poor and you don't have time to cook dinner so you don't go grab to Uber Eats or something. You've got something there to grab out. The next one is, you know, I'll use myself as an example. Last week, I spent a bit of extra time, even though I was really busy, to make a couple of double batches of protein balls. And I repurposed them in so many ways. So they, the first way was that when I just needed a little bit of fuel and I couldn't, I didn't have time to stop work for very long, I opened the fridge, there they were, life-saving. I didn't have to think about something else or get something else unhealthy. So I didn't have to spend time preparing something. I didn't have to go and eat something that wasn't aligned with my goals and my values. Then the other thing that I did that was because I was out four nights last week at social things, I took them with me. So I took them with me as the dessert so that I wouldn't be having unnecessary sugar put in my face and tempting me and that the people who I was catching up with also wouldn't have to feel like they would provide dessert after dinner and um, then we would both be avoiding some temptations there. And I also gave them, like wrapped them up nicely and gave them away as presents. So just spending those few extra moments in the kitchen allowed me to repurpose those things. So that's my tip number one. Even though you feel overwhelmed, spend a little extra time here and it will go a long way with a lot of benefits from it. The second thing is don't be a complete wet blanket and just avoid all fun and all things. Like this year has been hard. It's been tough. Like you deserve to have a little bit of treat time and a little bit of downtime and letting your hair down. So my advice is when you go to events, choose the events or think about beforehand how you're going to approach them. That could look like if it's an event where you take your own dish, everybody takes a dish, take something healthy that you like so that you have at least one option to fill up on 50 or 80% of, and then you can have little bits of other things around. So you're still having that balance. If it's an event that you don't take your own thing to, Maybe have a healthy meal beforehand if you know that there's already not going to be any healthy options there for you to choose. Eat something healthy beforehand, something high protein, high fat, something to keep you full and so that you won't pig out when you get there on all the unhealthy stuff. You can still try little bits, but it will fill you up and you won't feel like going overboard. And then the last thing is kind of going back to what I said before, I kind of mashed those last two tips up. Choosing what you're going to do beforehand before it happens. So you might say, 
I've got a work Christmas party and I've got a gym end of year get together with the gym people, whatever it is, you've got two, uh, two or more events. Think about all the events you have on, which ones you would like to let your hair down and kind of drink and eat whatever you want and the ones where you aren't. Or set yourself a target before you get there. I'm having X amount of drinks here and I'm only eating this bit of food. Uh, you know, put yourself a plate and stick to it. Don't go back for more. So we need to just have a little bit of a plan in place or a little bit of a goal to keep us on track. Otherwise, it's way too easy to just blow out completely and then adopt the attitude of, I'm going to start next year. So then allowing yourself to have another whole month or whatever it is to be like that and to act like that and behave like that, which is not going to make your motivation in 20, in the next year any easier. It's going to make things a lot harder for you. So the little things that we can do now, take off the stress, still keep that balance, let your hair down, enjoy some things, but just know how much of it you're going to enjoy. So there are a few of my tips for staying sane and staying balanced this silly season. Do your best, let your hair down, have fun, but also don't completely give up on your goals. Have fun, Merry Christmas, all the rest of it, Happy New Year, and I will touch base with you in the first challenge in February next year.